Right, let's talk car finance. I know, I know, it's a scary topic. But before you skip ahead to the next car review video, just hear me out for a second. For us South Africans, car finance is an essential service. And after our houses, probably our biggest expense. You've seen what new cars, even small ones, cost these days. It's scary out there. So, in this series of videos, I'm going to hold your hand and guide your wallet through the whole car financing process. So, you're planning to get that car you've had your eye on, right? Not so fast, guys and gals. We first need to talk about the worst case scenario. What happens when you can't make your loan repayments? This is the point where most of us put our heads in the sand. We ignore those little signs that we may be in trouble. You know what I'm talking about. A little payday loan here. A little missed payment there. You're considering pawning items more often than you'd like to. You're avoiding those letters or mails with those big red angry words. Buying quartz instead of those fancy craft beers that only come in four packs. You get the idea. When all this starts happening, you need to take a breath because you're in a financial slump and just ignoring it is never a good idea. But if this happens to you, be proactive guys. So what do you do? Firstly, and listen closely people, just call the bank. Don't wait, just call them. You can ask for lower repayments for some breathing room or ask them to put the money in arrears back into the loan amount or even extend the repayment term so that your installments are smaller. Banks are run by people, guys. They get it. So talk to them. The second option is to sell the car. Banks like APSA can help you with this. APSA can help you register your car on their Fast Buy platform, which gives access to over 400 dealers looking to buy cars. Check the link in the description for details. The other option is to consider giving the car back. This is called voluntary surrender. I get it, the word surrender doesn't have a great vibe about it. But giving your car back to the bank could be the smartest move because it may give you the space to get a downgrade. It will also save your credit record and is way better than having the sheriff repossess your car. To misquote some famous army general, you're not retreating but merely advancing to a more beneficial position. The banks do in fact want to see you succeed. They've got some skin in the game when it comes to your financial well-being. Now some people may ignore this advice and find themselves having their car repossessed. And yes, it's the worst case scenario. And it is as unpleasant as it sounds. Remember, until the loan is paid off, the bank actually owns the car. The good news is that banks will generally do their utmost to resolve the matter. But if you ignore them, they will be obliged to try and recover the vehicle with additional legal costs. Honestly, you could end up without a car. And that's a road you don't want to go down, guys. Buying a car is too expensive to be an emotional decision. Put on your big boy or girl pants. And when looking at that luxury SUV on cars.coza, ask yourself this. Do I really need an SUV when maybe a zippy little budget or compact car will do? The goal with all financial decisions should be to keep a clean sheet. That means protecting your credit rating, paying your accounts on time, and pumping any extra cash into your loans. Let's be honest, you don't need those rims, guys. Remember, your financial circumstances can change in a flash, for better or worse. That's why it's so important to act responsibly. Now go and watch my latest new car review on Cars.coza and enjoy that craft beer, you beautiful human being. Cars.coza.